Our next guest is Southwest Florida's top matchmaker, Mimi Lee, here today to help navigate dating gracefully as we age. I have been so looking forward to meeting you. Aww, I really thank have. You. I've seen your your beautiful advertisements in yes. our local uh, magazines. Yes, indeed. And I thought, you know, I would love to meet this woman and have her on the show. So thank you. Well, thank you thank very you. much for inviting me thank on the you. show. I'm excited to be here. So let's start. Um, okay. Can you share with our viewers how you? how you chose to do this and you've been doing it about 25 years right <laughs> well I know you yes. don't look that old <laughs> that's quite all right I have a lot of experience Aww. which is good uh, however I was recruited by a lady named Patty Stinger mm -hmm. and for those who might know who she is she did the millionaires match matchmaker on Bravo oh, years ago yes. and so I met her many many years ago okay. and uh, I she brought me along and recruited me and I learned a lot from her and I got the bug. I just had passion. I just okay. felt like this, I finally have a voice and I really, and this is it. This is what I need to this do and what, what I want to do. do. Yeah. Well, when we, we, we were chatting and you said I, you're married and yeah. you've been married for 17 years. Yes. <laughs> and you did meet your husband. Well, through matchmaking. Through matchmaking. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I would never have met him if I was not a matchmaker. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that so way. So that probably prompted you to say, you know, if, if it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody else. Exactly. Okay. I can give assurance that All right. hey, I know for a fact you can meet someone wonderful and lovely and safe. Well, safe. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Now, I know there's a science somewhat to love. I mean, love is obviously not a, a classic science in the term of science, but what do you mean by the science of love and meeting somebody safe? I mean, yeah, well, meeting safe is the major yeah. deal, and I can certainly help you with that. But mm -hmm. going back to the science of things, it's been proven that people live longer if you're with a person or a second person, a companion or a marriage. Mm -hmm. And so I have noticed throughout my years of doing this that people that I come in or come in to see me, they look very young and vivacious. Mm -hmm. Even though they may have been married for 40 years, they look great and maybe something has happened and they're widowed at this point, mm -hmm. but they're really young and spirited. And I believe it's because they were together with somebody for all that time and yeah. now they look to replenish yeah. that yeah. and have a companion in their life. It's so. always nice to share yeah. with someone. It yeah. is always nice to share with someone. So the um, being safe, we're going to talk about that a little bit later oh, yes. in the show. Okay. Certainly. But now, so the um, the next step is, um, you know, when you meet someone, um, you know, I, I know you've had a lot of different people that you've joined together, yes. and uh, achievements that you're proud of. Mm -hmm. So many. How about, how about we talk about one of those? So give, give us an idea so our, our viewers know what it's like. Okay, um, I have a, a really lovely story um, about a lady and a gentleman, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I had set them up on their first date, and unfortunately, on the way to the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, the, the the lady, her friend, went into labor. Oh so, my goodness. yes, so she had to cancel at the last minute mm -hmm. on, on the date. And so that was a little disappointing and nerve wracking. And so then I set up a second date, and it was raining. I was keeping my fingers crossed, but sure enough, they both made it to the restaurant. Oh. They got to meet each other, and then they spent time. Time. and she had a beautiful necklace on that was an elephant and he made a comment about it and said you look lovely and what's the elephant for and she said oh the elephant is my favorite animal of all and he said really why is that well because an elephant never forgets and so he took that in the back of his mind and they ended up dating for a year mm -hmm. and then he uh, reached out to me to let me know that he was getting engaged to her and uh, he he was really smart he went to a zoo that had elephants and this was about two hours away from their home uh -huh. and so they took a vacation a, you know a weekend vacation and they went to the zoo there's the elephant. He brought a photographer along so that he can oh watch. Gosh. And what they did is he took pictures of them on the elephant, walking around, and she was just so thrilled. But most importantly, when he got off the elephant, he had the elephant bent down, and he bent down on one knee, <gasps> and the elephant extended his trunk oh my as gosh. he extended the ring and asked him. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh my gosh! And she was right? like, ah, 
Oh. She couldn't believe it. Oh and we, my and gosh. he had the moment. And, and because he had the photographer, oh my gosh. she'll always remember the moment when he asked her to marry That's her amazing. because of the elephant. Oh. Isn't that a nice That's story? That's very nice. Yeah, I know I got goosebumps yeah. too. Now for um, single men, women out there mm -hmm. wanting to date, what are what what's it like hiring a matchmaker? What are what are the some exciting moments that they're going to experience when they meet with you? Well, the excitement about it is the fact that um, my experience, I've been doing this for so long mm -hmm. and I'm very confident in the type of clientele that I have. Many people come in and think, well, I think I'm the only one that's doing this. And I say, no, I have many people just like you. They may be a male, they may be a female, mm -hmm. but they're just like you and they are comfortable coming in and meeting. It's just they're at a place in life where they don't know where to go. They don't want to go right. to a bar. That's right. old fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just exciting to be able to have my intuition um, direct right. and keep you safe. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of it comes into. Okay. And that's it. I mean, you, you meet so many people mm -hmm. and you do have to be intuitive because you can't, you just don't, you wouldn't be in business for 25 years if you've been matching the wrong people up, right? So Correct. you meet them, and so, yeah. So yeah. your track record speaks very well of you. We're almost done, but okay. I want to ask you uh, one final question. Sure. Tip for the week. Oh. Any tips for the week for any age group that you have in mind and something Ooh. you want to share? Well, I believe there's love for everybody. So it doesn't matter what age. It doesn't matter what okay. age. I believe wholeheartedly it does not matter. And the tip would be to be positive, have a positive attitude. And when you do meet someone new, stick to the positive things. Don't talk about the past. Let's focus on mm -hmm. what's going on now. And mm -hmm. let's talk about your passions now. Mm -hmm. So keep positive and keep a smile on your face. And you'll make it work. Okay, great. Well, thank you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Well, thank you very much for having me on the show. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI. We'll return right after the break.